Thank you for joining me today for No Hessel Triangles and Quilts, The Nancy Zeman Way. Although we're not together in person, I'm imagining you're right here with me on the set of Stitched Sisters, and I'm excited to share time-saving quilting tips by Nancy Zeman, my longtime friend, along with our brand new No Hessel Triangles ruler. Today I'm showing how to make our new Red Elegance quilt. This striking quilt is made from half square triangle quilt blocks, including windmill, flying geese, eight point star, and simple variations of bow ties, along with solid square quilt blocks. The half square quilt blocks are made the Nancy Zeman way, without ever cutting a triangle. When the blocks are combined with sashing and borders, the result is an elegant sampler quilt. We'll begin the block making process by creating the center eight pointed star design. We'll be making each of the block elements from half square triangles today, and we'll be cutting half square triangles from crosswise fabric strips. We'll be cutting our crosswise fabric strips with our new No Hassle Triangles ruler. The ruler, it is an eight inch by 24 inch rotary cutting ruler, and it has all the dimensions on it listed for making quilt blocks from two and a half to six and a half inches. After cutting crosswise fabric strips, we'll sub cut the fabric strips into blocks. This ruler makes solid quilt blocks, half square quilt blocks, and quarter square quilt blocks, all by following the color coded dimensions on the ruler. The green markings are for solid blocks. The purple markings are for half square, and the aqua markings on the ruler are for quarter square triangles. With this ruler, we can make quilt blocks that are six and a half inches, five and a half inches, four and a half inches, three and a half inches, and two and a half inches. And today we're making all quilt blocks that are three and a half inches. So we'll be following the half square measurements on the ruler for half square triangles. To make the center eight pointed star quilt block design, we'll start by cutting crosswise fabric strips. And the quilt I'm making today is all made with three and a half inch quilt blocks. In the pattern, we have instructions for making a bed size quilt using six and a half inch quilt blocks. So either way, the choice is yours to make a, a wall hanging or a bed quilt. And it really doesn't take that much more time to cut the pieces and sew them for a bed quilt than a wall hanging. We'll start by cutting crosswise fabric strips. I'm following the ruler and to make three and a half inch half square quilt blocks, I'll be cutting three and seven eighths inch crosswise fabric strips. It used to be that we had to look in a book or have that all memorized. Now it's all on the ruler. So we've cutting, we're cutting our crosswise fabric strips and then we'll subcut them into squares. So for the center quilt block, we'll need several fabrics in reds and creams and we'll be cutting three and seven eighths inch squares. And we'll also need some corner squares to set the block off. And the corner squares are not made into half square triangles, so those need to be cut three and a half inches. To make a half square triangle, we'll align a light square with a dark square, and we like to use Nancy's No Hessel Triangles gauge. It's a sliding gauge with the block sizes and illustrations listed right on the gauge. So I'll set the gauge for three and a half inch half squares, and I'll align the gauge with the corners of the square. And with a marking pen, I'll mark. I'll mark through the die cut openings, and I mark that center line, but that's not our stitching line. We'll be stitching a quarter inch on each side of that line. That's actually our center cut line. But next, we'll head to the sewing machine and we'll attach a quarter inch presser foot to the machine and we'll stitch. We'll stitch on each side of that line. After you stitch the block, you'll have a quarter inch, scant quarter inch 
stitching on each side of that center line. And I like to chain stitch the blocks. Just keep continuously feeding the blocks into the machine and you'll have all your blocks made. With the scissors, you'll cut apart those threads to separate the blocks. And then I'm going to cut. I'm cutting down the center of that line, that marked line. And you could do that with a rotary cutter and a rotary mat too. And then when you open the blocks and press them, each block set makes two half square triangle quilt blocks. And you'll want to head to the pressing board with the heat of an iron and press those fabrics to the dark side. Press those seam allowances to the dark side. After you've made all of your block sets for the center eight-pointed star design, next is the arranging. We'll arrange all of the half square quilt blocks with four solid corner squares, and you'll have the center eight-pointed star design. The next block element we're making in our Red Elegance quilt are the flying geese blocks. To make the flying geese blocks, we'll start by cutting crosswise fabric strips with our No Hassle Triangles ruler, and we'll subcut them into squares. So for each block, you'll just need one set, one dark, and one light, and we'll pair them together. We'll again take the No Hessel Triangles gauge, and we'll slide that to the three and a half inch half square block, align it with the edges, and we'll trace. Trace through the die cut openings. And again, that's not our stitching line we will be stitching a scant quarter inch away from each of those on each side of the line. We'll head to the sewing machine, we'll stitch, chain stitch those blocks together, and the next step is to cut the blocks apart and each block set will make two half square triangles. Once you press these open, it makes really fast work of making half square triangles. Once you press them open, it's simple rotate, seam down the middle, and you have flying geese quilt blocks. The next block element we're making in the Red Elegance quilt is the bow tie block. The bow tie block is made up from two half square triangles and two solid squares. So we'll be cutting crosswise fabric strips with the No Hessel Triangles ruler. For the half square triangles, we need to cut three and seven eighths inch crosswise fabric strips. For the solid blocks, we need to cut three and a half inch. And the complete instructions are included with the ruler and within the pattern. After you've cut your crosswise fabric strips, we'll again subcut into squares. So we'll take our dark square, our red berry square, and a red square on top and we'll take the No Hassles Triangles gauge, set it for the three and a half inch half square block, aligning it on the corners, and then mark through those die cut openings. We do this for each element of the quilt between half square and solid blocks. That's all that makes up the quilt. It looks very intricate, but that's it. You know now we'll head to the sewing machine and we'll use scant quarter inch seam allowance and we'll stitch on each side of that line. We'll cut those blocks apart and each block set, one of these makes two half square triangles. And just by rotating the blocks and positioning them and adding those three and a half inch square blocks, you can create the bow tie block. The next block element is the windmill quilt block. The windmill quilt block is made from just four half square triangles. And we'll make our half square triangles the same way we've made our previous triangles, cutting crosswise fabric strips with a no hassle triangles ruler, and then subcutting them into squares. And then I always put the light on top And with the No Hustle Triangles gauge, mark my center line through those die cut openings. 
and then we'll head to the sewing machine and stitch. Stitching a scant quarter inch on each side of the line, cutting the chain stitch blocks apart, cutting the blocks in half following that center marked line, and it works great to do that at the rotary mat with a rotary cutter. And then you'll press them open, pressing the, the, the blocks, the seam allowance, to the dark side of the block, and then just making a bunch of different uh, red and off-white taupe half square triangle blocks, you can arrange them into the windmill block. You'll make block pairs and then you'll sew the pairs together. And the, depending on where you place the red, the dark of the half square, it creates the rotation of the windmill block. Once the quilt top is assembled, then it's time for the quilting process. So layer your quilt backing, your batting, and your quilt top, and use your favorite method of pinning or spray basting, and then head to the sewing machine and do some free motion quilting, some straight line machine quilting. And then the last step would be to add the binding. And you'll find tips and uh, blog posts and tutorials on all of our favorite techniques and the favorite Nancy Zeman binding technique at nancyzeman.com slash blog. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoy Nancy's no hassle triangles in your next quilt.